Good evening, everyone. I'm Andrew Donovan. Nicole is off tonight. Police don't think four separate shootings overnight, one of them leaving one woman dead, have any connection to the days of protests in Syracuse. News Channel 9's Adrian Smith is talking with police tonight. Adrian, it's shocking how quickly these shootings happened right in a row. Andrew, yes, four within about 90 minutes. Detectives have already made an arrest in one of the cases. The other three are still under investigation, but at this point, they appear to be all unrelated. 1230, police called to South Salina Street just blocks from the Syracuse Community Health Center. Detectives found 35 bullet casings in the street and two cars hit. Not even two minutes after, officers were called to a second shooting on Roland Street near South Geddes Street. Casings were found, but nobody was hurt. Then 16 minutes later, a woman was shot on Ellis Street near East Fayette Street. She was rushed to the hospital and died. 13 minutes later, the fourth shooting on Tully Street Street, a block from West Street. Again, casings were found, but no injuries. And I can tell you that the men and women that work here at the Syracuse Police Department uh, love being out here. They love trying to uh, interact with the community. And meanwhile, trying to solve the real challenges we have. Again, we, we just saw numerous shots fired and a homicide. So as much as, you know, they're combating those things, they're also out here trying to build relationships. After a tough week for Syracuse police and citizens alike, the sergeant reminds the public that unrelated crime is still happening despite the protests and pandemic. It's unfortunately a sad reminder of what we have to deal with as police in our city. And as much as, you know, we can always improve as a profession, you know, we also need to improve as a community and really work together in stopping out this violence. Now, a 26-year-old man was arrested for the earliest shooting on Salina Street, but the shooting that resulted in a woman dying and the other two are still unsolved. Andrew. Adrian, thanks, and that's why pu the public need to help police finishing these three cases. Anyone with information should call Syracuse Police Detectives. The number on your screen, 315-442-5222.